And, and then you, you just... I'm you saying I'm just going to enjoy something that I like. And that I hope, you, uh, as you know a fortunate, you, you don't like it. You but I'm what? an adult, and I, and I, I, can, I can understand... the respect don't. that I have for you, I will not uh, judge you for it. I will not judge you for it. That's awesome. Because I have a lot of respect for you as a person. If you were anybody else, I would have told you off here and now. You know what I have <laughs> respect for? The fact that game you. one is now started. Ten seconds in. Inkling versus Serena Pikachu. Absolutely wild. Take it away. Roma says pineapple belongs on pizza and Pikachu belongs I'm gonna on I'm going to mute Helper, I swear. <laughs> I was going to do the transition. I was going to say that this matchup is the equivalent of pineapple pizza because it's under oh, the it doesn't go together. Um, oh, means, no. Right now, Dave Create trying to get a little something started. Grumman's up here, unable to find the neutral. Mouse got landing aggressively. Uh. Trying to get Roland. Oh, no, 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 nothing quite yet. Yeah, Dave Create. I think Dave Create really thought, oh, I'm going to get the. He's going to roll out. It's going to be good. I'm going to get him. And then he's like, oh, he didn't tech at all. I got him. What? Oh, oh no. Ah, uh, Mousecut didn't have the punish for landing onto stage. I believe that could have been like an up smash out of shield. If he was a little bit quick enough. Uh, but alas, he wasn't. Ooh! Okay, good jump out. Yeah, he tried I can shoot. promise you most people would have like air dodged to that thunder. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Dave Craig keeps landing on the stage, which, I mean, it's pretty good if uh, you surprise your opponent with it, but that can be really dangerous. Um, I will now say nice back in, because that was a really nice back in. Now so that followed Dave Creed's drift extremely well, catching the high recovery once again with down it, uh, but being at such a low percent, the spike sent him absolutely nowhere. Yeah, Mousecrat's trying to get something started here. He's getting some good damage. Yeah, good damage indeed. Already at 57%. This is a very fast-paced match already. Um, you know, being on Smashville, like, really definitely helps, you know, close quarters. They're really all up in each other's faces. Gonna be losing their stocks pretty early, too. That was, like, late hit for it, then. Yeah, I mean, it was at 150, and it was 100% fresh. So it would be really strange if it didn't kill at the edge of Smashville. Remember, Smashville has very small side blast zones. Yep. Well, relative to the other stages. <laughs> Oh, I, I, um, I like how Dave Creech is like taking a ba taking back, like stepping back a little bit, shooting his gun a little bit, and he was just able to ink up Mousecut pretty efficiently. Ooh, what is oh, this? You gotta be ready for the stage spikes. It's really, it's tough though, it's tough. Yeah. yeah Dave Creech loves using Splattershot in neutral against a lot of characters, but Pikachu is one of those characters where he's not really allowed to. Because if. Okay, Mouse Rat Classic, killing himself, yes, very nice. Um, Dave Chris not really allowed to use Splatter Shot that much in this matchup because A Thunder Jolt would just go through the, the Splatter Shot, and B, like, he could just quick attack right through, and that gets a combo started, and that can be a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. That being said, keeping Mouse Guy in the corner right now, but so hard to keep Pikachu in the corner like that. His up B just, you know, it's so tricky. It's so hard to get on top of what is happening. Look at all this He's... damage. He's got 20 damage. That's like a bayonetta jab. Oh my god, nice call out. But you know what? The little kid is alive. And Dave Kurt's like, yeah, let me let me get out of this stage. Let me back throw you. I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. I love how Mousecut just sometimes has a lead and he thinks, hmm, today I will skull bash off the stage. Today I will show you why you should fear me. If Mousecut loses, oh. it no, nah, never mind. He had a nice call out on the S smashes though. That's like the second one that he's gotten like that. Roller is hella disjointed. There's not many moves that can like just straight up beat it, especially because if you clank with Roller, you're gonna be stuck in a bajillion years of end lag. And uh, Inkling typically gets out pretty quickly. Uh, so the fact that he was able to do F smash twice there, I'm not sure if it just doesn't clank or if it was just timed that well that it just like hit Inkling only. But nice job for Mouse right either way. Yeah. Um, I feel like Dave Creates use of Golu might be a little bit questionable because I feel like it's a really momentum based tool. And like once you've like conditioned a person to like not be in shield and to start like dashing back and generally when you have like the pace of man pace of the match in your favor almost, that's when you really start throwing it out like that. Um and he did it. You know, Mouse got <laughs> Mouse got had like a very strong lead towards the end. It felt like sort of like a um, a desperate, like, last effort, almost, you know? Mm-hmm. I understand, Samuel. Uh, Sweet Lou, uh, yeah, so... Roller does have a lot of end lag, but if you jump out of it, it cancels most of it out. And the, uh, the clanking, uh, the clank duration when you hit it with any grounded move is incredibly big. Mm-hmm. That being said, the game, too, they're gonna offer, uh, Lilac 
I'm not entirely sure about why Dave could, would want to go here as opposed to um, some other stage. I think the, the two reasons probably are, A, it affects Pikachu a lot more than it affects Inkling. Uh, the slants make it very difficult for, uh, for Pikachu to use Quick Attack as safely. If he messes up, mm -hmm. it can lead to a lot of end lag. The second thing is that Inkling doesn't care about slants. He has two he has two tools that he can use to kill, and that's Roller and, uh, and Up Throw Up Air. And those aren't affected by, uh, by slants in yeah. the slightest. I can see that right now, Mouse Cut, though, he's doing a really good job of just like catching a lot of Dave Creates jump ins. He needs to find a way to get out of the corner, but Mouse Cut's gonna overcommit to those jabs, and he's just gonna be able to roll right back on. You see, Mouse Cut's trying to, is looking to establish some kind of stage control right now. Um, oh my god. These skull Yeah, I know, each time. Upset, man. It's like watching a Luigi miss, uh, do side B off the stage, and it's like, man, you just don't wanna be on stage, do you? just don't like it. Just not his cup of tea. Masuka's just sitting there thinking like, eh, you know, maybe I don't eat a ledge trap, but maybe, maybe oh, I don't like it. Okay. I really like that. I really like that awareness from, uh, from Mousetrap being like, I hit you with one jab, you're gonna think that I'm gonna jab again, and I'm gonna just run away and just uh, F smash, and you're gonna roll into me. I know you're gonna do it. Unfortunately, Squad oh, Bomb wow. has not been that useful for Dave this whole set. So, I really like that option select that Mouse Guard kind of did it. Well, not option select, we buffed like the run off back end after the jab, which I think was really, really smart. It's really similar to how like Zelda's will try to do like down tilt lightning kick or, uh, you know, a Ness might get one of his like, really, really quick down tilts and go for the yo yo. Um, just like a really nice way to throw your opponent off the, um, off the momentum almost. Yo, congrats to Dave Create actually punishing the dash attack with a with a smash attack. Something that you almost never see in this in this game. Did you just <laughs> see that exchange? Him just yeah. jabbing him in the face and then Dave Create's like, no, my turn to jab. Yeah, yeah, so that's just like really weird interaction uh, when it comes to hitting shields, where uh, you get pushed. Most characters get pushed back, but I think Inkling's actually an exception, where if Inkling is hitting you regardless of whether you're shielding or not, they'll always get pushed back. Mm. I see. Yeah. Well, that being so good now, once 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 Dave Craig gets past 105 percent, I won't be surprised if we start seeing like the dash ins and the hashbacks for the mouse guy. Always looking for for those dash attacks. Ooh, such a scary position to be in because um, you know, we can easily get get by that hitbox. Yeah, the fact that uh these characters both have really quick uh recovery moves that get them back to the ledge extremely quickly. Uh, but mm -hmm. they still both are kind of a... Uh, but Pikachu is much less of a commitment overall compared to uh, the Inklings. And he has a lot more mix, too. Like, mm -hmm. just like being able to control your angle two times. Oh, oh my god, I don't know what Mouse Rat was looking for. I think he wanted to ro wanted him to roller and try to thunder okay. the roller. What a good way to start, like, maybe some nail loops on the platform. Dude, that was brilliant. He started off with, like, um, the late hit of up air and was immediately able to set a, that up onto a drag down nail. He got so much good damage like that. Wow, that up smash. Yeah, I, I believe in Clink's up smash is like, don't quote me on this. Game 16? I think. I swear somebody told me that at some point. Wait, what is? Frame 16? Inkling's up smash? Or am I no, talking out of my ass? It's right it's frame eight. Oh, okay, never mind. I was absolutely and utterly talking out of my ass then. Let me check. Let me double check. It's frame nine. It's frame nine. Frame nine. I was like, there's no way that's frame eight. Yeah, I, I, I knew I knew that sounded wrong. It's in the up there, up there? Ah, uh, he, nope. he didn't get the funny. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> feel good about that so what do you what do you thoughts on what just happened you, you okay, uh, so i'm gonna send you the visualization of uh the first hit of inkling up smash so you can see how tiny it is mm -hmm. and why that was like a really incredibly bad idea from the create um <laughs> but yeah that was that was not that wasn't great that, was, that wasn't you can see like how tiny that is relative to in front of her he was oh. not in a range where that was going to be that safe i thought he was charging down smash and I was like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. 
I am eternally grateful that the scoop hitbox is tiny, tiny baby. I mean, it is tiny. It's just it's it's a it's a pretty it's a fairly quick it's a decent out of shield option. Um, mm. All right, so we have Beast versus Zach. Uh, 